Warning. Censorship. Warning. Behind me, tens of thousands are now marching from the State Library to Parliament, calling on anyone who will listen to ensure that this bill, this controversial bill that gives absolute power to Dan Andrews, is killed this week. I guess the main worry for me is the unlimited power, that there's no oversight, that he chooses his own committee and he can get rid of his own committee and make his own decisions. But in the last 18 months, he's been very responsible about how he's used the uh, emergency powers. So what are you so worried about now? Well, it's very hard to tell if he's been responsible enough because he hasn't been very transparent with his decision making, has he? Yeah, but trust the science. What would you know? <laughs> Health expert. Oh, I know. Sorry, I keep forgetting. I, I don't know anything. Well, that's why I'm out here. I'm here to put people like you in your place. <laughs> I hope you've learned from this interaction and you can take your conspiracies and jog on. <laughs> Thank you, Arvi. I'll, I'll take that. And that's it. That's what we're here to do. And if you enjoyed this report, make sure to like, comment and share. We are changing minds. As you can see behind us, the crowd is stretching as far as the eye can see. Literally tens of thousands have come out today. Their last chance to protest this bill before it heads to Parliament. As you can see, when the police stand down, stand back, and they uphold the right of the people to practice their fundamental right of protest, especially on such a crucial issue, it's a peaceful, lovely family day. Family day. Family day. Yeah. How you going, guys? You behaving? Yeah, behaving. Are you here to make sure Dad behaves? Nah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. It's become cheap to take the kids out these days, hasn't it? <laughs> you don't have to go anywhere. We haven't come to a lot of them because I didn't want to get a rubber bullet in the face. You are the, the, the profile police are looking to tackle today. <laughs> Yeah, I've wondered about that lady, you know, that they take all ages ago. Thought they might try for me. Are you here to protect him? Yeah, <laughs> she's my number one barrier. When he was naughty, when he was young, he, he, you had the power to ground him. Yep. Don't you think Daniel Andrews should have the same power to ground us when we're naughty? No, because he's not my mum or my dad. If you don't hold on to your lines now, democracy, is, democracy, you lose your democracy forever. We're the lucky ones, because we've worked it out. We saw what was coming in the first round. Unfortunately, we're all, we've all got friends, family, loved ones that are still trying to work it out. They're Joey from Friends, right? That's how I look at them. They're Joey. All the other friends are looking at friends. All the other friends are looking around and waiting for Joey to get it. And then also when Joey gets it, everyone laughs, right? That's who we are. We're the friends waiting for Joey to figure it out. When you grew up as a kid, did you ever get grounded? Nah. <laughs> and we can't be hateful because to believe us Andrew means to accept that they've been conned and no one wants to accept that. So I'm from East Timor. I came here when I was 11 because uh, in my country it's like this demonstration, the government's corrupt to the... But I never imagined in my life I'll come to Australia and I will experience this and my son have to go through that. No way. I will stand here in the rain, in the cold, yes I will. United we scared. People are the power. Government are here to serve and protect us, not to put fear. As a 14 year old girl, I shouldn't have to be standing here fighting for my freedoms. I'm scared for my future and I'm scared for my parents that they're gonna lose their jobs and we'll be homeless because they don't wanna, they don't wanna give in. All things what we have put up with over the past there it is. two years Straight is intolerable. Out of He's an abuser. Intolerable. I feel how like we as have, a victim how of we survived it. This bill and only serve one person, and that person is Dan Angel. We're not going to benefit anything. We're all targeted. My grandparents, we survived Nazi Germany. The bottom line is every one of those coppers, they know, and everybody that's in on it, following orders is no defense. Nuremberg 2.0, everybody will be held to account. <laughs> I'm just scared, you know, like I can't sit here fighting as a 14 year old girl. I'm scared for when I have kids. What if this is still going on? I have to fight for my kids too. It's going to go on for so long and I'm just going to, you know. I just want to have Melbourne back. Get rid of Dan so Melbourne can shine again. For 20 years friends with him, came every week, supported every, all the boys and he just had enough of what's going on and he just had it took off, man. It took off. It's a better place now, but I'm here to support him, his legacy, and keep on going. You're not happy with this bill? Oh, hell no. Hell no. But, like, don't you think most of Victoria would be happy with Collingwood supporters being locked up 24 hours, 7 days a week? So I'm 17 years old. And the You're what? 17. You're, I know. Wait, what? 
I know, I know. What do you guys think you're doing here? You have some sort of medical degree? <laughs> I've got three medical degrees, actually. So what would you know? <laughs> Not as much as Dan Andrews, apparently. <laughs> All right. Uh, His Holiness, thank yes, you very much. Yes. Even I can recognise 17-year-old the bill. What it represents? It represents tyranny. It represents doesn't represent democracy at all. Senior boy. How, I don't want, no, no, we got to, hold on, I'm, I'm following the story. How did you create more of a man at 17 than I'll ever be? Well, good uh, influence, you know, critical thinking, genetics. I'm just the authorised officer here today, I'm just making sure you're socially distanced, please. Just bigger than a thought, mate. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's the nicest thing anyone said to me today. Did you guys travel here together? Yeah, 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 we're all together. Uh, yeah, yeah. In one vehicle? Yeah. yeah. Wearing masks? That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah, right. yeah, yeah. My nursing training way back in 1994. I went into midwifery in 2001, and then I went into maternal and child health nursing in 2015. So you're pretty new to the industry. Yeah, yes. Do you guys have fun at protests? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so there's some, like, crazy people? Yes. About your height? No. So how has schooling been in the last two years for you? Uh, I, my attendance has gone down and so have my grades. It's really stressful and all my friends agree as well and they're too scared to speak up and more teenagers will just be speaking out about it, about this power grab because it's going to affect everyone's future. Well, I can tell you something. Maybe your grades have gone down but you have much more intellect than the people in that building. By the way you talk and the passion you have, yeah. I think you're going to be all right. Thank you. My father came here after the Second World War. Right? Where he didn't bring... He didn't bring me into this world to put up with this sort of shit. No way. Only in Australia do you get a dingo and a crowd fighting for freedom. I love this country. Yeah. Don't we all? Certainly not an anti-vaxxer. I talk about vaccinations in my in my appointments at work. We always encourage vaccinations. <laughs> what are, so what are we doing here? <laughs> We're here for the uh, pandemic bill. We're here to restore some democracy, uh, some freedoms and some choice for some people and to protect our children. If you enjoyed this report, make sure to like, comment and share because there's no way you will see what really happened here today on the mainstream media. Then head straight over to killthebill.com.au, sign and share. And then guess what? Share it again. We're almost at 100,000 with your help. We'll be taking that to the governor with over 100,000 signatures. Killthebill.com.au. Sign the chair now.